Welcome back as we continue to chill at home with the Penguins. Wilkes-Barre Scranton had one all-star this season. It was forward Andrew Agazzino. He was eventually called up to Pittsburgh, but then was placed on waivers and picked up by the Anaheim Ducks. Here are the Penguin stat leaders for the guys who have been with the organization all season. Adam Johnson leads the way with 34 points, followed closely by team captain David Worsofsky and Sam Militic. Anthony Angelo is the team's leading goal scorer with 16 on the year. And once again, joining us from his home, here's Mike Gilbert. There are a few activities that are staples for people at home during this quarantine. Cooking, puzzles, binge watching TV shows. Those are all things that come to mind. Professional athletes also partaking in these activities with a few additions. Down to Angelo, it goes in! Angelo tried to pass it across the wall. You might wonder what professional athletes are up to during the quarantine. For some of the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, the answer is probably similar to what you and I are up to. So far, it's been good. We've been spending a lot of family time uh, watching Netflix, watching TV, playing Xbox. I've just been following like the workout program that Mike Joyce sends us. Uh, a lot of reading, a lot of spending time with my mom, which is nice, and uh, yeah, a lot of Netflix. It's been uh, it's been weird times, and following the news, unfortunately, not a lot of good news. But uh, it's kind of one of the things that we're glued to right now. So it's almost like Groundhog Day every day seems the same. But there is one thing professional athletes are doing during quarantine that's a little bit different from my quarantine, at least, staying in shape. Me personally, it's just kind of keeping with my routine, keeping in shape and, uh, you know, nothing's in set in stone yet, so you kind of prepare like you're going to play a game, I guess, at some point. I've been working with Coach Buckley, uh, Pittsburgh goalie coach, doing some video, stuff like that. So just trying to keep the mind engaged, keep it thinking about hockey every now and again. Um, definitely not trying to turn the brain off totally as far as hockey is concerned because, like you said, you just never know when we're going to be coming back. Center Chase Berger went home to St. Louis. At first I stayed in Wilkes for like a week and, and didn't really know what was going on. And then they told us kind of all we could go home and, and didn't know what was going to happen. So I came home to, to St. Louis. And Berger doing a good job of staying in shape without a gym. Take my time, have breakfast, and then I get a workout in from like uh, 11 to 1 maybe. Uh, Mike Joyce, the strength coach for, uh, for Wilkes, has been unbelievable. He's been sending us stuff every week and it's been really good. And uh, you know, I've got a decent amount of stuff. Like we, I'm able to shoot pucks in the basement and then got a pretty decent sized yard and driveway. So, uh, you know, some other equipment that, that's been helpful. And Berger also used this time to re-sign with the Pens for next season. I'm really excited to get it done early. Um, you know, honestly, the biggest thing was just, I feel like uh, our organization treats us really, really well. Um, and I really like the coaching staff. So um, kind of going back and forth with, uh, with the offer with my agent and uh, I liked it. And uh, like I said, with, with that coaching staff and uh, I feel like they give me a good opportunity to succeed, so it's kind of an easy decision. The NHL season has also been suspended for nearly two months. That's unfortunate for the Pittsburgh Penguins, who were well on their way to another berth in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Pens last played on March 10th and came away with a 5-2 win over the Devils. That dub gave Pittsburgh 86 points on the season, just four back of the division-leading Washington Capitals with 13 games to play. Soon after the initial spread of COVID-19 throughout the United States and Canada, Penguins captain Sidney Crosby had a message of encouragement for hockey fans everywhere. I just want to take a moment here to encourage everyone uh, to stay patient, uh, to continue to stay inside. Uh, that's really the best way that we can beat this thing right now. Uh, the best way to keep you healthy and keep all those around us healthy. So make sure that we stay diligent with that. Uh, I'd also like to thank all the medical workers out there uh, that continue to put themselves in harm's way to help all of us and as well all the people that are continuing to work through this to keep things running. Uh, we appreciate everything that, that you guys do and uh, we're very thankful for it. The clock is winding down as we enter the third period of At Home with the Penguins. Next up, the voice of the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, Nick Hart, will join us to talk about this most unusual hockey season and will bring you Nick's best goal calls of the year. Some great highlights coming up in just two minutes.